Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 17 Mercari Bolos coming your way. Don't turn it off because I said Mercari. These items sell on eBay and Poshmark also. So let's get started. Did I say, hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Did I say it? I think I did. The other day I forgot to say it and somebody like called me out on it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot to say it. I think I said it though. All right. Um, you hear all our clocks going off. I do kind of love it. It just reminds me of home. You know, it's just home. Okay, my husband loves clocks. You guys have heard me say that before. I'm sure. Every time the clocks go off, I'm like, oh, the clocks. All right, so the first sold item is this Anna Lee doll. And these typically come with a stand, and this one was missing the stand. I listed this and it sold within 24 hours for $20 with free shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale for like $1. If you guys are not familiar with Anna Lee, this is the back of the tag. Let me see. Did I not take a picture of the front? You can kind of see it here. Let me see if I can zoom. See, it says Anna Lee. They are easy to recognize. Their faces all have this like paint on them. They are super, super cute. And I love finding Annalie. I do very, very well with it. And it tells you the date on the tag. So they're easy to date. Um, yeah, so $20 free shipping. I'm guessing Easter is getting close. So somebody probably wanted um, this for Easter decoration. The next item is this Disney Hallmark coffee flip mug. If you turn it this way, it says that. And this way, it says that. It's kind of an interesting mug. I got it for like, I think a buck at a garage sale. Um, this sold within 24 hours also. So I did my video, my shipping video, where I show you guys how I ship this mug or how I package it before I ship it. And it sold the next day. So that was really cool. And it had five likes. So definitely be on the lookout for this mug. Sold for $35 and I paid the shipping. And somebody messaged me and they're like, you could have put that in a padded flat rate envelope. I'm like, I am never, ever, I, I know people do it, but I'm never putting a mug in a flat rate envelope. I'm sorry. I just cannot do it. Like I have boxed my mugs and bubble wrapped them like crazy and put paper, you know, like a newspaper, how I do, and then bubble wrap around it. And I put it in a box that's a little bit bigger than the mug. So if it gets crushed on a side, it, it won't crack. And I lost a mug. So there is no way I'm putting it in a flat rate envelope or a flat rate padded envelope. No way. I know people do it and they're fine, but I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Has it okay, so tell me in the comments, who is shipping their mugs in flat rate envelopes or padded envelopes? Tell me below because I just want to know if, if, you're having, if your mugs are breaking or if they're making it safely. <laughs> because I guess I put mine on a box with lots of padding and mine broke. So maybe I'm doing it all wrong, but I don't think so. I think it was just, um, it must've really gotten beat up because I ship mugs all the time and never have a problem. All right. So again, um, this mug, Disney Hallmark coffee mug, the next item, these rusty rivets, lot of six toys. Um, I sold these for $30. The buyer paid the shipping on this one. I picked these up at Toys R Us, 90% uh, off of whatever the retail value was. I can't remember how much I had in all of these. I'm guessing 10 or less. Uh, the Toys R Us, we'll just say it didn't go well. I wish I wouldn't have done it. I still made money, but I'm still sitting on a lot of the toys. I've given a lot of the toys away. Um, I, I, I've donated stuff. Um, yeah, some of them, I bought these wands and it turns out that they have a manufacturer's defect and most of them don't work. And I paid up for those. I think I paid between five and $8 and I'm looking over there because they're sitting in a bag and I don't know what to do with them because they might work and they might not, but I don't want to test them. So I just took them all off of eBay. So the next item are these flugels. Again, this one came from um, Toys R Us. And if you see right here, you can see my legs. That's awful. I should have cropped those out. Um, I listed this on 630 of 2018 and they just sold. 
So again, Toys R Us did not go well for me. They did sell and I did make money, but it took a long time. The next item is this 1995 Street Sharks Pool Shark Ripster. I picked this up at a garage sale for probably around a dollar. I sold it with 20 for $23 with free shipping. It sold within 24 hours of listing. Super fast. This necklace came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, which of course I cross post. So um, you're going to see, you know, some of the items that I bought on eBay to sell on eBay, selling on the other platforms. But this is a DC Comics Harley Quinn heart pendant. If you have not checked out my bulk buy video, they're going to be on Monday nights. I'm doing unboxings and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, gemstone testing, acid testing. I'm going to be learning and taking you guys on that journey. So definitely uh, check that out. The next item is again from that same bulk buy. I bought 344 pounds of jewelry, you guys. If you want to know what I paid for all of it, go check out that video where I weigh it. This is a penguin neck necklace. One of my subscribers saw my unboxing video and she's like, my granddaughter would love that penguin necklace. So I went ahead and I put it on um, Mercari for her and she bought it and she paid $14 with free shipping and I sent her an extra necklace for her granddaughter. So it's a little, it was like a little flower and she's like, oh, I might like paint it. I'm like, oh, that would be cute. So super fun and um, so nice of a subscriber to buy something. You guys are all welcome to uh, shop my eBay store, my Mercari store, my Poshmark store, feel free to make me offers. The links are down in the description of the video and it's greatly appreciated. It does, you know, kind of help me keep going. I am taking a pretty big hit as far as uh, time. Um, I'm doing a lot of YouTube videos, but I love it and I'm learning, but um, I'm not listing as much as I was. So I am taking a little bit of a hit. And right now, you know, I'm not making very much from the ad revenue, but hopefully eventually someday, um, it'll at least cover my time and I am finding more bolos. So it is paying off in that way. All right. So this is a Victoria's Secret bra. I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar. I do believe that it was new, but I wasn't sure. So I went ahead and washed it. Um, so I just put like new because I washed it, but I, it, I think I maybe no, I'm sorry. This isn't the one I'm thinking of. I did not wash this one. This one was just new without tags. I'm sorry. Because I got it with some other brawls and I washed the other ones, but this one looked like it had never been, like it was perfect, if that makes sense. The other ones had some deodorant on them, but it was sitting with them, but it was good. So yeah, I sold it for 18 with free shipping. Sorry, you guys, I buy so much stuff and I did get it at a garage sale. The next item is this Vera white by Vera Wang dress. This was a retail arbitrage. I bought it from the David's bridal website. So I think I had like 12 or $13 in it. It's new with tags. Um, I sold it for 45 and um, free shipping. So I did cover the shipping. So when I put free shipping on my items on Mercari, I then go over to pirate ship and I ship that way in case anybody is wondering. I am using list perfect. Oh my goodness. I can't talk list perfectly to cross post. If you guys are not familiar with list perfectly, it is a huge time saver. Um, I have two videos on it, but the newest video shows you how to bulk cross post, which is so much faster than the other way. It's awesome. So this 1997, the Scarlet Pimpernel, Pimpernel, I don't know how to say it. You guys, but it's autographed. It's a picture with an autograph. It's the, like, uh, what do you call it? The thing that you get at the show that's got like the pictures in it, that thing, the, not a brochure. What is it called? Oh my goodness. I cannot think. Let me see if it tells in my description. Uh, but there's a personal email from that men mentions a musical. There's a CNN showbiz today show thing. It's a pretty cool lot. And then the big thing is it's autographed um, on the picture.
but I picked this up at an estate sale. It was in a drawer that was shut and I opened the drawer and it was full of like playbills and all of this stuff. And I was like, I'm just going to throw it all together, take it down and ask them how much they want for all of it. I want to say I paid $3 for all of it. I have another signed thing by one of the cats from the cats play. Um, I got a keychain. I got a bunch of playbills. This sold for $175 with free shipping. Super exciting bolo for me. It's one of those where I'm like, I'll never find that. And then I found it. So yes, very exciting. And the person did message me and ask me to include photos of the actual signature. So as you can see here, it's kind of like one of those, um, I don't want to say like a glitter pen, but more like a pin that kind of paints it on and you can kind of see where you know you can tell that it's real it's not like uh photocopied so it's a legit print and i got great feedback so super excited about that one that's one of my really fun cool bolos all right these lane bryant jogger pants retail arbitrage discount store got about three dollars in them i sold them for 28 dollars in the buyer paid shipping these ornaments I picked up at a garage sale, probably paid a dollar, sold them for $24 with free shipping. Fisher Price Loving Family, four dogs and a van, four dolls, a dog and a van, sorry. Sold it for $65 with free shipping. Vintage Halloween Ziggy Plush. So this is Ziggy Plush. And they're vintage. I sold these for $20 with free shipping. You know, they're vintage, they're plush, they're Halloween. So definitely a great bread and butter item. The next item is this vintage adult bridal princess tiara crown. I picked this up at a garage sale probably for like a buck. It was a bulk buy. I got a whole bunch of stuff. It may have even been under a dollar by the time I divided it all out. Um, I sold this for $43 with free shipping. The next item is this Cacique Brawl. I picked this up at a discount store for $6 plus tax. I sold it for $25 with free shipping. I picked this up at a discount store. I paid $5 plus tax, sold it for $25 with um, free shipping. I will tell you guys that plus size, and it is new with tags, um, but the inner label is marked through. Let me show you what that looks like. You can see right here. See how it's marked through? So I will tell you guys, plus size brawls, I love selling plus size brawls. They sell really well for me. Um, the sell-through rate is pretty good, and um, I buy them whenever I can. So thanks for watching. Have an awesome night. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching.